I watched episode 7 of Better Call Saul and found three really cool hidden details. The first one is in this scene. It's me, your friendly neighborhood Iceman. So the detail is as Jimmy enters Chuck's house, we see a caterpillar hanging over the roof. I think this is meant to represent the moment that Chuck is in at, in this episode, because he's trying more and more to become accustomed to his sensitivity to electricity, to get over his illness and go back into the world. This could be you a perfect metaphor for how a caterpillar burst out of his cocoon, the cocoon being Chuck's house and illness and becomes a beautiful butterfly stronger than ever. That is, if he manages to get over it. The second detail is hidden in this scene. See, you can notice it. So when Jimmy opens the book to investigate and help the Kettlemans with their case, he opens the book right on a page that says electricity. And I think this is meant to be a reference to Chuck, because after this, Jimmy decides to do the right thing and get the money from the Kettlemans to give it back to where it belongs. So the Kettlemans go back to HHM and take the deal that Kim gave, that Kim got them. So when Jimmy gets reminded of Chuck's illness, Chuck's electricity, he decides to do the right thing. It's like Chuck is watching over him and he decides to make Chuck happy, to do what Chuck thinks is best. And that's what he defines as the right thing. Which is interesting that the right thing in this case involves stealing someone's money, even if that money is already stolen. Which really fits with the themes of this series of law not defining who you are. It doesn't matter which side of the law you are on. What matters is your actions if you are truly a good person at heart. You're now a criminal. Good one, bad one, that's up to you. And finally, we get this really iconic scene in this episode, with Jimmy feeling really frustrated, similar to how he feels frustrated, and hits the trash can in HHM. Why is he frustrated? Well, because it seems like every time he does the right thing, every time he tries to change for the better, the world tells him that that's not who he is, that that's not right. The world punishes him because of that. He never gets what he wants. He wants to be with Kim. No! He wants an office with Kim. Sorry, you can't have it. You have to do the right thing. And this is what will eventually keep him in that cycle of never wanting to improve himself, because what's the point? He can never change, like just like Chuck told him, so why bother? But I think that Jimmy's problem, particularly in this season and that he will repeatedly make during the series, is trying to adjust to someone else's view of what he should be of what the right thing is, because truly only one knows what's right for one. But he keeps adhering, he keeps listening to what Chuck thinks is best for him instead of what Jimmy thinks is best for Jimmy. Now obviously he can never find out what's best for himself, he can never be allowed to be himself. Just like Chuck, Jimmy needs to burst out of the cocoon of other people's expectations, particularly Chuck and even Kim's, to become his own butterfly. Law offices of James M. McGill, how may I direct your call? So I hope you enjoyed this analysis, and if you want to watch more analysis on Better Call Saul, I'll leave you one here. I'll see you on the next one.